It's Christmas in July. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon, the Daily DIYer, and I love Christmas so much that I created a whole nother YouTube channel called The Cozy Christmas Cottage, and today kicks off its third holiday season. And we're making this day a big event. Me, along with 11 other talented creators here on YouTube, are bringing you a day filled with Christmas DIYs, projects, and ideas. There will be a playlist to make it easy for you guys to be able to head over and find all of these amazing Christmas ideas, so make sure to click that link that I'll have down in the description box after this video. One of my favorite products that Dollar Tree carries are their solar lights, and this year they have come out with so many different varieties. So now is a great time to grab some of those solar lights, and I'm going to show you some amazing ideas of how you can use those in holiday decor. Now let's dash right into our very first project. I have a quick and easy project that anyone can do right off the bat. This first one, you'll need these spotlight style solar lights from Dollar Tree. And we're going to actually turn these into a little bit of a Christmas version of them. I always suggest pulling the tab on your solar lights before you start crafting with them because obviously some of them are not working in duds. This one luckily it works. We're gonna add a tent to the lens of these solar lights and you can do that in a few different ways. I'm gonna be using one of these watercolor brush markers and just covering over the lens. I'm gonna be doing that a couple different times to make sure I have really good coverage. I did red and I also did green. To help make this project go a little bit quicker, it does help to have a heat gun on hand so that way you can hit it with a little bit of heat. A hair dryer works for this too. Don't get too close. You want to melt the plastic in there, but it will dry the ink for you so you can come in and give it another coat of ink. Now we need to seal that ink to the lens. So we're going to do that with some regular clear packing tape. Our lens is about an inch and a half wide. So make sure to cut your tape a little bit wider than that and rest it along the edge of your light. Then take your scissors and cut that down to size. You'll have to cut it even smaller than that to get it to fit on the inside. Just cut it into a circle and then to apply it onto the lens, you'll sort of rest it on the inside and then push down right in the center and flatten that out against the lens. You just want to make sure you don't get any wrinkles or bubbles in there and then just smooth out the rest of the edges. This looks so cool at night. It does a really great job of changing the color of the lens to whatever color you want. You could also use a piece of vellum here or even some alcohol ink to get a very similar effect. So that was a really quick and easy DIY. This next one is too. We're going to grab one of these already made red Solar lights from Dollar Tree, you'll also need a red pool noodle, and yes, even a broomstick for this project. We're gonna make ourselves an outdoor north pole that is so easy to do. You'll also need some white duct tape, which a lot of times you can also find at Dollar Tree too. We're gonna rest it onto our pool noodle and cut the end at an angle so it's flush, and then simply wind your duct tape up your pool noodle, leaving some of that red exposed and that's gonna give you that candy cane stripe. Then once you get to the top with your duct tape, go ahead and cut that end off flush as well. And it's just that easy to create your own pool noodle candy cane. Now onto the broomstick. Here's a little bit of a tip. Take your heat gun and heat up the adhesive that's underneath the handle. It makes it so much easier to remove that. Then outside we go, we're gonna take our broomstick, sort of dig a small hole in the ground, press it down in there, and also take a small hammer and kind of hammer it down into the hole to make sure it's secure. Then you can add your pool noodle right over the broomstick and insert your red solar light onto the top. This is so easy to do. It would look so cute with several of these lined up next to each other. Maybe even hang some Christmas lights, drape them in between. And of course, this looks so, so cool at nighttime when that solar light lights up. This next hack you could use pretty much year round, but we're gonna do a Christmas version. And we're gonna be using one of the regular solar lights from Dollar Tree, but if you can't find them there, head to Dollar General. You can still find those for a dollar there, which is a great deal. And we're gonna be adding some small sized ornaments into a lantern to turn it into more of a Christmas look. A smaller ornaments work best for this hack. And then just simply add a solar light right down in the middle. Makes for a 
really pretty glow during the day or at night. And I love this because it is so quick and easy to turn decor that you maybe already have into one that is perfect for Christmas time. And I love that you can also take this idea and use it indoors and outdoors. I was absolutely shocked to see these next solar lights at Dollar Tree. They are flame glow, which means they have sort of a candlelight flicker to them. So we're going to need one of those along with a wreath, maybe one you already have. I looked out and found these really pretty wreaths at Ikea on clearance for only a dollar. Wish I would have grabbed more because they're really, really nice. So maybe another Ikea trip is in my future, but you can also find small wreaths at Dollar Tree too. Now to attach our solar light onto the wreath, we're gonna use a combination of hot glue and some floral wire. We wanna expose that wire wreath form by pulling back the branches and then add your solar light so that the pretty part is sort of right in the middle of your wreath. Then add your hot glue and twist your wire around the base to secure it into place. Cut off any excess wire that you have. And then here's another little tip. Take some of the branches of your wreath and wrap them around the base to help secure it and also help hide the bottom. Now we're gonna fluff the wreath just a little bit and then we can add a bow to cover the rest of the handle of our solar light. To create a bow, it's so easy. I know this scares some people, but it really is super easy. You just make one loop and kind of size it to about the size of bow you want. This ribbon has a pattern on one side, but not the other. So you need to twist the middle so that the pattern stays on the top. And then I'm creating five loops on each side, all the same size. And then the center loop is gonna be a little bit smaller. That is gonna be the center of our, bo our bow. And then we're gonna use some regular floral wire to twist the middle to keep everything together. And you want to also leave those wire ends long because that's what's gonna help us attach the bow onto the wreath. There is a little bit of an excess tail that sticks out the top, just trim that off add this to the front of your bow or on the front of your wreath, flip your wreath over and then tie it really, really tight to keep this on. You can also add a little bit of hot glue here and that will really secure your bow on here. Now this is optional. If you like your bow without tails, go ahead and fluff your bow and you're good to go. I'm gonna be adding a tail onto mine though. It just kind of finishes off the wreath. And to do that, I'm doing that in a second step. So just cutting a piece of ribbon, the length of the tail that I want, and then dovetailing the ends, which is basically just a V cut at the bottom of the ribbon to make it decorative. Then you'll take some more floral wire and actually tuck it up underneath your bow and then secure it to your wreath at this point. Cut off any excess wire, then you can go ahead and flip your wreath to the front side and give your bow another fluffing. And that's all there is to creating a really pretty bow. You can use the same bow style for a tree topper bow too. Just make your tails extra long so they come down the sides of your Christmas tree. This would be so perfect on your front door so that the solar light can charge during the day and then auto turns on at nighttime. I also love that you can do this to any wreath that you might already have. We're gonna use the same solar lights in our next hack, but this one, we're gonna do a little bit of dismantling of our light first to give it a totally different look. So double checked, made sure that our light works, and now we can start deassembling this solar light very gently using a screwdriver to pop the top off, and then we're going to remove the insides. And basically the black plastic grid comes right off. Go ahead and reinsert the frosted part back into your light and we get a different look to our solar light. And this just totally reminded me of a lantern. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a Christmas lantern. This is a six inch size round wood plaque. You can get these in a set of four at Hobby Lobby for super duper cheap and I'm just drawing the size of the base of the solar light right into the middle of the plaque, drilling a small hole, just a little bitty hole, just to get it going. Then taking my screwdriver and a hammer, going around the outside of that line that I drew, and then we're gonna use the screwdriver to pick the middle out. That's gonna give our solar light a little space to sit down into to really secure this onto our plaque for the base. Now we're gonna use some hot glue in the bottom of that hole we just created and sit the solar light down flat. 
Now we need to make the base, match the top, and black chalk paint has the perfect finish once it dries. It has a matte finish, so it actually matches the plastic black on the solar light really, really well and blends perfectly. Just make sure you get some of that uh, hot glue that kind of smushes out once we put the base in there and then let that dry. We're gonna decorate this up with some garland from Dollar Tree and create a little wreath for our street lamp. So we're gonna cut that down to size, sort of make a circle and a wreath, fold it into each other to secure the ends. That's gonna give us our wreath shape and then we can add a cute little red bow onto the front for accent. This is regular red grow grain ribbon that I believe is seven eighths inch wide and we're just cutting the tails, dovetailing those two and hot gluing that right onto the front. Once that is set up and dried, you can move it over to your street lamp. And honestly, it's so cute, but now looking at it, it probably could have used a little bit of a haircut too. It was pretty crazy looking but it actually turns out really cute in the end using some hot glue to attach that right underneath the light. And I did actually make two of these so I could put one on each side of my mantle, but these would be so cute on an entryway table, on a shelf, or even if you have a little Christmas village, you could add it to that too. Next, we're gonna make a Christmas time centerpiece with a solar light and one of these smaller planters. I picked up a green one because it looked a little bit Christmassy, but you can always spray paint your planters to get whatever color you are going for. We're gonna fill that planter with some styrofoam and some hot glue to make sure it stays in place. And then again, with our Dollar Tree garland, we're gonna wrap this around a few times to make a thicker and fuller wreath that we're gonna set on the edge of our planter. Also kind of wrapping the garland onto itself to make sure it stays together. Then we're going to come in with some hot glue and add that around the edge of the planter and then go ahead and set the wreath right down on top. So again, I'm gonna be using the flicker lantern for the center of this, but I'm gonna remove the stake out of the bottom and we're gonna dismantle this again and just use the frosted part to have more of a nice seamless look. But if you like the cage look, you can also do that too. We're gonna to put the top back on there and then sort of punch a little outline into the middle of the styrofoam that gives us an area where we can then add our hot glue and then press that solar light down in there farther then go ahead and let that set up and if you like the more simple look you can leave this as is or decorate it however you'd like. You can find this decorative filler in the floral section at Dollar Tree, even when it's not Christmas time. And we're gonna also add some red berries in there to give it a pop of color. And then hot glue those mini pine cones around just for a little bit of a decorative element. I really feel like this makes it much more Christmassy looking. And that's all there is to it. Such a cute little centerpiece. You can make several of these and line them up on a shelf or a ledge. Just a cute and simple idea. Now we're gonna use another red solar light from Dollar Tree. When I looked at this, I immediately thought Rudolph's nose. We're gonna make a reindeer solar light. We need to take this apart. And for this part, we're just gonna be using the silver at this moment. The rest will come back into play. And we need to paint this brown. And we also need to cover up that solar part so we don't get any paint on it. So a little bit of painter's tape over the top and then cut out the center part with your X-Acto knife, remove anything around the edges, and that way it protects our solar part while we're painting. I'm using some brown chalk paint on here and it did take me three coats to get good coverage. So I did the top and also the post. So after this had three coats and had dried completely, then we can come in and remove that painter's tape that was covering our solar part. So now it still is functional, yet we still have the decorative element of it too. And then we can reassemble our solar lights. So we're gonna pop the red plastic back onto the top and then the post onto the bottom. And then we can start making this guy look like a reindeer. So we're gonna use some stiff, brown felt for his antlers. I just basically freehand cut out some antler shapes, just kind of marked where the width of the solar light was. So I stayed within that size. And once I got this all the way cut out, then I took some hot glue and glued it onto the top, but made sure to not cover up the solar part. 
Now our reindeer needs a face. I highly recommend these chalk markers. I will link these along with any of the supplies I use in today's video down in the description box below. Just used a white and a black chalk marker to create the eyes and also give them a little bit of some eyelashes on there for some detail. And then we're also going to add some decorative pieces to his antlers. I just thought it would be cute to add some greenery and some red beads up there using some hot glue to attach those. And then just a little bit of ribbon around the base to give him a scarf. I definitely think these would be so cute and fun in a kid's bedroom or maybe used as gifts. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Head on over to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. Subscribe over there for a holiday filled with so many Christmas ideas to come. And also head down to the description box below to click on the playlist. You can see all the other fun Christmas DIYs going on today for Christmas in July. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.